Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about warm and cool colors. Warm colors are on one side of the color wheel. They're often um, red, orange, yellow, or other colors that have a little bit of one of those in them. Uh, and then cool colors are blue, green, purple, and colors that have a little bit of blue, green, or purple in them. Today we're going to be choosing warm or cool colors and we're going to be creating our own planet. Uh, we're going to be inventing what you think that planet is like. Is there any life on that planet? What is the weather like on that planet? Are there mountains? Are there oceans? Are there rivers? Is it cold or is it hot? And that might help you make your decision about what kind of colors you choose. My planet is going to be a water-based planet going to have lots of greens and blues um, and I imagine that maybe some kind of mer people like a mermaid would live in my planet. To do this project you're going to need a coffee filter, you're going to need washable regular markers, you are going to need a cup of water and a paintbrush. For this project you're going to take your markers and you're going to draw right onto your coffee filter and then you're going to add some water with your water and your paintbrush to kind of blend and spread the colors and they'll bleed into one, one another and mix and make a really cool effect that sort of reminds me of some of the planets that we see in our solar system. So the following couple images are pictures from our solar system um, that somebody has illustrated so they look kind of more colorful and a little bit more fun. Uh, so this is your planet inspiration section and then we're going to go... Now I'm going to start drawing onto my coffee filter. So I'm kind of making some swirly lines that sort of remind me of water. And I want to make this look very aquatic. I'm using my cool colors. Then I'm going to sort of blend my colors by making them right next to each other. And when we add the water, it will create what is called a bleeding effect. And the colors will sort of bleed and blend into one another to create one kind of fully covered um, work of art that does not have a lot of white space and is really full. Uh, this is also nice because you already have like a round surface here and you don't have to try to cut one because it's already done for you. At the very end, we will once it's dry, we will stick it on a, another piece of paper and then you can write below it what the name of your planet is and maybe write a few facts about it. Better, faster, stronger. Yeah. Uh -huh.